Shalom, walking for us all, praise and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Rakak Kodash, the Ba'anfath Millstone, and Sahih Halek. When I get a lesson based off, bro, of the mercy of the Most High that He has given us, man. You guys realize, bro, that we have all we have all gone off, man. We, before we into the truth, we have all gone off, bro. And we still haven't gone off unintentionally, so. You know, working on Saturday, you know, like not, we still, it's still, the world is still defiled of everything, bro. Fish unknowingly probably eat pork, man. Even if you didn't want to. So, hey, so, I said that is a mercy of the Most High. Being the truth is a mercy of the Most High. And yet, people still call it to do this truth, bro. So, let me show quick, this is Matthew 9, verse 13, it reads, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I'll have mercy, not sacrifice. For I have come, for I said, for I am not come to the call the righteous, but the sinners, but, but sinners to repentance. See, so not come to the righteous, but the sinners to repentance, man. Because, hey, that's true repentance. You're truly repenting from the ways of this world, the wickedness that was in this place, to the righteous, bro. To the most high. You're, you're basically forsaking the world that you grew up in, that you lived in, because that's true, bro. We all grew up in the world, man. Regardless, but we all grew up in the world. It's like you. In the ways of it, man. You're probably doing all, wicked, all type of wickedness in there, man. But yet, we even called out of that to do this truth, bro. Because that is a mercy, the most high. And I said, that, that we are under mercy, bro. <laughs> yeah, Isaiah 55, verse 7. And I read, and it goes. Very clear and simple, bro. That hey, this truth is honestly a big mercy to you, bro. Because look, you could have been, you could have kept doing wickedness, man. You could have kept doing wickedness. You could do all the all the wicked, abominable shit they were doing back then, and be destroyed, or you could have a chance of salvation and inherit the kingdom. Most high will be part of the elect. Now this is Isaiah 55 or seven. The reason that the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man is thought. And let him return to the Most High, and he'll have mercy upon him, and to our power for he'll abundantly pardon. <laughs> he'll abundantly pardon your sins if you turn back, bro. That's the thing. Most High will abundantly part your sins, abundantly. If you turn back, man. Not how much Lord, that's how much Lord love His people. That through all this shit we've done, all the wickedness and matters that we've done. He said, if you if you forsake your way, if you stop doing what you all the wicked shit you're doing, hey, he'll abundantly pardon all your sins, bro. That's an awesome, that's some cool shit, bro. That's some cool that's, that's cold. <coughs> because look, man, it shows that hey, there's and it's not all, all this only goes for Israel, bro. All this only goes for Israel. Not, this is not meant to everybody. The the repentance, bro. And not meant for every single person, only for Israel. You know, that's 144,000 and the elect, man. This is Acts 3, verse 19. It reads, Repent ye therefore and be converted, that your sins may be blot out. And let's get that first that word blot out, me, bro. <laughs> so it's so like, hey, you know, we, we go hard on the judgment, man. You know, see, the, the judgment of the Most High is coming, bro. But before that, there is a mercy that the Lord will give you, give unto you. <laughs> yes, yeah. Blot means to anoint or wash in every part, to besmear, to cover with line, to wipe away, to wipe out, wipe away, to obliterate, cease, wipe, blot out. You basically, say, yeah, uh, see, there's something blot this means to be eliminated. And all your sins be wiped away from you. It says, you know, because when you're Repent ye therefore and be converted. That you're seeing blot out when the time of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Most High. That's a mercy, bro. That's a mercy the Lord will give unto you, man. That you're seeing me be this, that all your sins that you did before you woke up, hey, that, all that shit mean nothing to you. It doesn't matter to you anymore because you've been renewed in the Spirit. In fact, I'm going to get that real quick. But I think the Lord know you gone off, bro.
The Lord knows that you have gone off. The Lord knows that you have done some wicked ass shit, bro. The Lord knows that, man. This is Romans 12 verse 2 and it reads, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing. I see that I see the renewing. Again, making new. A remind that you may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh. So, hey, the most high will base know that you were in the most wicked ass fucking mind state and management, bro. Because we are in the most wicked kingdom. You know, normal, normal things to people day to day is complete wickedness. Like Moe's, bro. That's, that is shit is basically considered as a normal. That it's okay, it's normal. Like, like you, we, you weird for thinking it's not normal, basically. But I know, man, you see that, like, it's an abomination. That shouldn't exist. <laughs> so, yeah, bro. So, hey. So, this is the mercy of the Most High that we are in right now. You gotta realize that, man. The Lord is a mercy. Is a merc is, it is a merciful power. And that being said, don't think that. And that being said, bro. Hey, it's time to come back. Come back to the truth. Come back to the Lord before it's too late. Because you think, oh, you know, like, oh, that's, that ain't for me, bro. Too late in this scene, like, I'll come on, commit suicide in this. Too late for me. No, man. That is basically putting your own sudden block in front of you. The Lord, hey, let the wicked forsake his way. And our going his thoughts. <laughs> At the end of the day, the people that are going to get it are going to get it. But, hey, bro, it's not, it's, hey, you've been called to shoof. Hey, get it, get it while you still can. Because we're not we're not gonna all be there. We're not always gonna be out there for a long for a while, bro. The Lord's gonna close the gates of mercy one of these days, bro. This first John four verse nineteen reasons that we loved him because he loved because he first loved us. So we love you love because most of loved us first, bro. Ain't that a ain't that a mercy, man? Through all the wickedness we've gone through, all of it, man. That we have committed, that he could have started new if he really wanted to. <laughs> if the Lord says, "You know what? I was, you are still a particular people unto me. I will, I will take you back as long as you repent from your sins, who the, who you were before, and come back towards me." This is Proverbs one and verse twenty. Reason wasn't cry out, cry without. She uttered her voice in the streets. She cried from the chief place of concourse. In the openings of the gates of the, of the city and the city she uttered her words saying how long you simple ones will ye love simplicity and her scorners delight in her scorning and fools hate knowledge turn you at my reproof behold I will pour out my spirit unto you I'll make my words known unto my make know my words unto you say Lord it's the kind of like hey man come back how long you simple love simplicity come back now and I'll pour my spirit onto you I'll give the wisdom and understanding to most high go get to the kingdom, man. To be not to be like I think they all Israel will be saved. But to be on top, bro. To be on fully on top of this thing, bro. Because honestly, we're striving for boy, we're striving for the best thing imaginable. <laughs> if I can get this real quick, listen one and verse four, and it reads you how shall I put all tears from their eyes? And there shall be no more death, neither sorrow, nor crying. Neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. We're trying to, all we're trying to do is strive for a world without pain, without mourning, suffering, death, crying. All that shit's gone. All the unpleasurable emotions that you have will be gone. All you know is happiness and joy, forever, forever, ever, man. You know, we're not gonna be crying no more. We're not gonna be like, we're not gonna be in distress anymore. We're not gonna be angry no more. There's nothing. There's no more to be angry about. We're gonna have. We're gonna be joyful because like, hey, we're, we're giving this Edomite what they fucking deserve. Like, yeah, you take this because, hey, this is what you fucking deserve, man. You see, is a is a righteous thing. The most high. To, um, let me get that real quick. So, hey, bro, we're gonna be happy in that day, bro. This is second, this is second Thessalonians one verse six, and it reads, "Seeing the righteous thing of Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them trouble, trouble you." And what I want to do to these Edomites in their kingdom, man, 
and to die in your slavery, eh? The they're gonna be first into the other nation, man. But e the nation of Esau, bro, the land of Esau will be done away with. So yeah, bro. So we're just trying to strive for the kingdom, man. So hey, get this truth while you still can. If you know you've gone off, you know your wickedness, and the Lord has shown you a video. Turn back now. Because that's the best thing you can do for yourself, bro. Thank you all praise to your Hawa Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakodash, and Sakhim Shalom.